Today we're going to make a bolognese, but this is a bolognese with a difference. We're going to make bolognese pasta tray bake. It's a lovely oven-based bolognese pasta dish with penne pasta and a fantastic cheese sauce on the top as well. And it'll feed the whole family and keep everybody wanting more. So to take you through the ingredients, first of all, I have 25 grams of butter and a splash of olive oil, a 75 grams of pancetta. You can use bacon lardons, but uh, I quite like using these pancetta cubes. I have one onion, finely chopped, one stick of celery, finely chopped, and one carrot, finely chopped. 500 grams of lean butcher's beef mince. I've got 30 grams or a large tablespoon of tomato puree. I have one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar and one teaspoon of Worcester sauce. I have a 275 ml or a large glass of red wine, 300 ml of beef stock, a pinch of salt and pepper, and that's everything we'll need to start off making our bolognese. I'll take you through the ingredients for our cheese sauce a little bit later on. So, I've just turned a large pan onto a low heat. I've thrown in our olive oil and our butter. The reason we use the olive oil is just to stop the butter from burning. So we're just gonna allow that to heat up to temperature slowly and melt that butter. While we're doing that, let's throw in our pancetta. Just gonna fry that off lightly for about two to three minutes. Okay, after two to three minutes, some of your pancetta just, just starting to brown off slightly. I'm gonna go in with our onions our celery and our carrot. Again, to give those a nice mix up, we're gonna fry these off for about five to seven minutes, just until the onions start to go slightly translucent. Okay, so after about between five and 10 minutes, you'll notice your onions start to go slightly translucent. That's when we're ready to add our mince. Best thing to do with the mince, as you're stirring it and working it around the pan, break it up with your wooden spoon. Just gonna cook this off until it's browned off all over. Okay, brilliant. So as you can see, our mince is lovely and browned off. Next thing we wanna do, take your tomato puree and we want to mix that in. Ordinarily, if I was making a spaghetti bolognese, this is where I would add my tin of chopped tomatoes. But with my bolognese pasta tray bake, the red wine is perfect. So, now you've got that tomato puree mixed in, go in with your 275 ml of red wine. Okay, now that red wine's added and well mixed in, just wanna turn the heat up and we're gonna bring this to the boil, just to burn off that alcohol, just for a couple of minutes. Okay, I've just added all our beef stock, just thrown in our salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna turn the heat down to low Allow that to bubble away there for an hour. That's gonna evaporate a lot of that liquid that's in there and we're gonna be left with this fantastic rich bolognese. Okay, so when you're at this stage, most of your liquid has evaporated. Have a little taste, make sure your season is correct and then set this to a side for later. We're gonna work on our cheese sauce. So we're gonna make up a bechamel first. We have 40 grams of plain flour 45 grams of butter and 350 millilitres of milk. I also have 150 grams of mozzarella cheese, 50 grams of cheddar cheese and 50 grams of parmesan as well. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make up our bechamel. So you wanna pop a large pan onto a low heat and we're gonna melt our butter. I've just added the flour in with that melted butter you can see it's pretty thick straight away. So now we're gonna gradually go in with our milk while we stir at the same time. At this point you can add a bay leaf or a little bit of nutmeg if you want. Continue to add this milk. It will slowly but surely thicken up. Now we have our bechamel. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to add half of each of our cheeses. So we're going to pop half of our parmesan in there, half of our mozzarella, and half of our cheddar. Stir in that cheese, it won't take long to melt, and then your cheese sauce is ready. So turn the heat off and set that to a side for later. And then we'll make sure we preheat our oven to 180 degrees and cook off our pasta in some salted boiling water. So I'm just going to add 400 grams of dried penne pasta to a large pan of salted water. I'm just going to allow that to boil for about 10 to 12 minutes until the pasta is cooked. All right, so it's time for us to put our finishing touches together. So I've just poured our pasta after I've drained it into a suitable oven dish. I'm just gonna spoon our bolognese onto the top of our pasta. I'm also gonna spoon our cheese sauce over the top as well. Last but not least, you want your remaining cheese sprinkled on top. So we've got the Parmesan, the mozzarella, and your cheddar. And finally, you pop this into your preheated oven, 180 degrees for half an hour. Okay. This will serve between six and eight people. Top with a little fresh basil. And there you go. Bolognese pasta tray bake.